James Dolan is the owner of the New York Knicks NBA team, and he got into an exchange with a fan that was basically just upset with the direction the team has been going in. The man was, I think it was 73 years old, 73 years old. He's been a Knicks fan for over 60 years of his life and simply wrote a letter to owner Dolan about this. And I understand passion in sports. I'm one that could speak from that for damn sure. But what went down here it is probably one of the biggest disgraces. It's funny that in the reply to, um, what was his name, Aaron Bierman, I think it was. Yes, Aaron Bierman, that they told him to start rooting for another team that I consider my fandom with something like the Philadelphia Eagles to be something that could never be changed. But I'll tell you what, if an owner of a franchise that I worshipped my entire life talked to me like this, Dare I say, I might start donning a Dallas Cowboys jersey. Let me show you the exchange here. All right. Uh, this was the initial letter sent from Aaron Bierman to the owner of the Knicks. All right. The subject is, I've been a Knicks fan since 1952. At one stage, I thought you did a wonderful thing when you acquired everything from your dad. However, since then, it has all been downhill. You're working with Isaiah Thomas and everything else regarding the Knicks. Bringing on Phil Jackson was a positive beginning, but lowballing Steve Kerr was a disgrace to the Knicks. The bottom line is that you merely continue to interfere with the franchise. As a Knicks fan for for excuse me, for in excess of 60 years, I am utterly embarrassed by your dealings with the Knicks. Sell them so their fans can at least look forward to growing them in a positive direction. Obviously, money is not the only thing. You have done a lot of utterly stupid business things with this franchise. Please no more. Respectfully. Now, did you think what he said was all that bad? Sure, he, he, he mocked Dolan for being a non-self-made millionaire who got everything handed from, from his father, which is what the truth of the matter is. He, is a, he won the lottery of life being born into a wealthy family. You know, it happens, whatever. You can't change that. It's just the situation. Um, he said that how Dolan has made some stupid decisions. Didn't necessarily say he was a stupid man, but said he made stupid decisions, which he did. Look at the, the pile of shit that the Knicks are. The Knicks are the biggest laughing stock in the league. And this is coming from a Sixers fan telling you that. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what Mr. Dolan's response was to a longtime New York Knicks fan. Mr. Bierman, you are a sad person. Why would anyone write such a hateful letter? I am just guessing, but I'll bet your life is a mess and you are a hateful mess. What have you done that anyone would consider positive or nice? I am betting nothing. In fact, I'll bet you are negative force in everyone who comes in contact with you. You most likely have made your family miserable. Alcoholic, maybe. I just celebrated my 21-year anniversary of sobriety. You should try it. Maybe it will help you become a person that folks would like to, excuse me, that folks would like to have around. In the meanwhile, start rooting for the Nets because the Knicks don't want you. Respectfully. If I was writing a letter to Jeffrey Lurie that was just, well, actually couldn't make the same comparisons because it's not like Jeffrey Lurie's father handed him everything in life. But if something like this happened and Jeffrey Lurie, the owner of the Philadelphia Eagles, wrote back to me and told me just to, you know, become a Cowboys fan because the Eagles don't want you, I'd probably become a Cowboys fan. Either that or just give up on the NFL altogether. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous and insinuating that the guy's an alcoholic? Oh my God, you don't know this guy. How could you make such an accusation like that? Like the goal of this guy, this little rich pampered twat. Or twat, as you people across from the pond say, and you always try and correct me when I say twat. We say twat here in America. Anyway. 
Like, for all we know, this guy, Aaron Bierman, had a wife that was killed by an alcoholic in a, in a car accident or something. Like, like, how do you just randomly throw out something like that, you piece of shit? Anyway, another reason why I'm making this video is that the, uh, the commissioner came out yesterday and said how uh, they're not going to be punishing Bierman in any way, like losing draft picks, fining the team, or anything like that. And a lot of people are outraged over this, saying, like, how can he get away with doing this? and saying this to a fan and being this disrespectful. Now, granted, I agree, it's all bad. Obviously, I've, the entire video is based on this being a bad instance. But I can understand why the league did nothing to Dolan in regards to this. It's, it's really a sticky issue if the league punishes someone for someone that basically is employed by the league. Well... You can argue whether the owners are employed by the league, but they still have to follow league rules. The same as a player would have to follow league rules. Uh, you know, an, an owner can get suspended for, you know, beating the shit out of their wife by the commissioner as much as a player could get, you know, suspended for, you know, beating the shit out of their wife. But, um, what I'm getting at is this sets a whole precedent of if the league did something to dole in here... It sets the precedence of, you know, oh, you say stuff on Twitter, you say stuff in an email, you could be held accountable for that. And granted, what he said was bad and all, but I've seen players say worse. I've seen players tweet out to the most, you know, hateful things just in, in moments of anger and rage. But, you know, sometimes something comes of it, sometimes something doesn't. And in this instance, it's not like anything that bad was said, but it is that much worse that it was an owner that was saying it. Again, calling someone an, uh, an alcoholic just because they have an opinion that's against you. I mean, let's face facts. Dolan, your team blows. The Knicks have won one playoff game in the last 10 years. And in the NBA, that it's not really that hard to do. You could be a sub-500 team, especially in the Eastern Conference in the last decade or so, and get into the playoffs and win a playoff game. I, I mean, he's talking about this guy being a, a mess. What is your team? And that's the thing that pisses me off is that I'll see Knicks games on TV, see Knicks highlights on SportsCenter. I, I, I saw the coverage of the Knicks-Celtics game from last week, and... It looked like the place was sold out, and I checked the attendance. 18,000 people went to see that game. The Knicks suck, and so do the Celtics. And yet 18,000 people went to pay and see those two teams play? They've got a devoted fan base up there in New York that pays to see this team, and the owner of the team is telling a lifelong fan to go root for the Knicks? Excuse me, the Nets? Ha! <laughs> what an asshole. Oh, my God. Anyways, I just wanted to give my two cents on this, and uh, if, if I was a Knicks fan and you started rooting for the Nets, now, as someone who's always said that I criticize the hell out of people if they jump ship and abandon their team, oh, in this instance, I would give you a rare exemption. Go ahead and root for it. Go ahead and root for the Nets. That little... Uh, that, that little Russian owner knows what he's doing up there, and he's actually putting together a winning product on the court. Maybe nothing that's going to contend, but, you know. Anyway. Don't let the door hit you or the good lord split you, as uh, the Nets owner, who I'm forgetting the name of. Anyways. Um, it's, 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 it, this is unreal. And this just, it, it, this just scares me as a loyal sports fan. Knowing that an owner can be so just callous and so, like, again, a guy that's got everything handed to him in his life speaks down to one of the peons like this. What, what a jerk off. Anyways, Knicks fans, um, enjoy your, your season of tank. By the way, when Philadelphia does the tanking, they get criticized. But when New York does the same thing, there's nothing to say about it because Phil Jackson's in, you know, in town supposedly calling the shots. By the way, Phil Jackson will walk off this team by the end of the season, trust me. Anyways, have a good day, everyone, and <laughs> yeah, James Dolan's an asshole. I wish I had the list of douchebags back. I'm just kidding. I don't have a list here with me. Have a good day, guys.